What's up everybody? I'm Luke with Big Kids Toys and today we're doing something we haven't done on this channel before. We're gonna do a direct comparison, you know, A, B, back and forth between a pair of speakers. We're gonna be using the Triangle Comet 40th Anniversary and a pair of Totem Bisons. Both are about the same price. They should fit in about the same rooms. So we're gonna see what they sound like. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, listening to this stuff through your iPhone, laptop, iPad. Um, to try and make a decision on what you want to buy. But hey, we also understand that you can't always get to Big Kids Toys to hear everything. So up first, we're going to hear the Triangle Comets. Then we're going to take a little break, let everybody digest the sound that they just heard. We're going to swap the speaker cables over to the Totem Bisons. We're going to play the same track again so you can hear the differences. She's the one that I'm alive. Distinguishing features. She got cold and shifty eyes. I said she's the one that I'm alive. Distinguishing features. She got cold and shifty, she, shifty eyes.
right, everybody. That was Lady Blackbird, Beware the Stranger, off of her album, Black Acid Soul. Highly recommend you checking out that album. It is, the whole thing is phenomenal. That's probably my favorite song. I heard that for the first time over in Munich, actually. A fellow American played it. Uh, he has great taste. So we're gonna get these speaker cables changed over to the Totem Bisons here. Same cables. Um, we're not using the rail sub that's over here in the corner, don't worry. Uh, and we're gonna play that song back and uh, maybe do a little analysis on the other side. We listened to the triangles at 80 dB, so we're gonna do our best to just match that perfectly. She's wanted, dead or alive, distinguishing features, she got cold and shifty eyes, I said she's wanted, dead or alive, distinguishing features, she got cold and shifty, shifty eyes. She'll lead you on with her words so soft and sweet. She'll rob you of your breath and then sweep you off your feet. She'll wind and die you, but you're the one that have to pay. And you'll never see her when she makes her getaway, so beware I'm a stranger. Looking in your town, tired, dark, and handsome. Y'all the way your heart will break down. And I said she's the one that did all the life. Distinguishing features, she can cold and shift the eyes.
All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that AB comparison. I wanted to give you my kind of initial thoughts on, on what I think about both of these speakers. Let's start with the triangles. First of all, the dynamics from this speaker are pretty amazing, especially at $2,500. I think this, this speaker can probably fill a bigger room than the totems just because it has those two front ports. Um, I, I'm always just impressed with the mids and highs from, from Triangle. I thought the bass was pretty good. I think it was definitely better on the totems though. It didn't sound like the speaker was trying to do too much, which I appreciate, you know, they, they aren't trying to go down to 20 Hertz. They stop where they stop and that's why you add a subwoofer. So for the totems, I thought the imaging on the totems was better. I also think that some of that, that mid range in there is just so sweet. And that's a, that's a classic totem sound, especially kind of in that bison and forest series. If you like kind of that warmer sound, you're gonna love this pair of totems. But anyways, both of these speakers, they both produce great sound and you can't go wrong with either one. Some of it's gonna be about fitting your budget. Some of it's gonna be about maybe the aesthetics or, or fitting in a cabinet, whatever it may be. Both of them sound great with an Audio Research i50. And you know, once you add maybe a RHEL subwoofer, we're using just a simple blue sound node. I mean, you can get some great sound from some pretty reasonably priced speakers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you hear from the video. I would love to know what, what some of your guys' takes are. Everybody hears things a little bit different. So hey, let me know what you're thinking. Thank you all for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys next week.